So the max number of images is 4,000, and it's there in the documentation. I definitely didn't find it on my first time through. So you gotta read carefully. Uh, I wish I would've found this earlier. It took me like an hour to figure this out. Then if the per page argument's not specified, it'll return up to 100 images per page. Then the highest page number is 40. So you just do the math. 4,000 images is the maximum that can be returned. We have 100 images per page, so 4,000 divided by 100. 40 is the highest page that can get returned back. So really we'll have two random numbers that we'll need to generate in order to get a random image. We'll first get the random page number. So if we assume we have like a huge query, we'd be grabbing a page number between uh, one and 40. And then we'll need to grab a random image from the page that gets selected. So here's the code that I use to solve this random problem. And it starts again with the get image from Flickr by search. However, what I've done is chained two calls together. So we're gonna do this function call first, and then in the completion handler, after we've figured out which page we want, I'm gonna call the get image from Flickr by search with page. So what you can see here is that I've placed a limit on the randomness of the page that we will use. And that's because of the 4,000 image limit. However, it's not always the case that we can go from zero to 40. So if we have a query that has up to 40 pages, our randomness of our page selection will be from zero to 40. Otherwise, we'll take the minimum. And so if we have a query that only has, say, 20 pages, that's what this is here for. So we'd go from zero to 20. And then here we generate our random page number. And then we'll use that random page when we search. And everything after this continues as it has before. You can check out this version of the app by using the git commands that I posted in the instructor notes.